Hamilton once famously said, People for sure won't understand it, but she's been one of the greatest things that have happened to me in my life. The person he's referring to is his physiotherapist Angela Cullen. While she doesn't seem to be in the same category as Bono or Toto, fans don't realize that her support goes way beyond that of a regular trainer. She manages Lewis's daily routine, personal logistics, nutrition, sleep habits, and other important aspects of Lewis's life. Join us as we look at Hamilton's one and only queen, Angela Cullen. Stay to the end to find out what crazy feat is on her bucket list. Even if you've not heard of her, there's a chance you've seen her with Lewis throughout the race weekend. Born in 1974, Cullen was drawn to sports from a very early age. In an interview, she said, I was born and grew up in New Zealand, famous for outdoor activities. I've always had a passion for all sports. I was hugely competitive and got involved in everything from netball, soccer, cricket, volleyball, and basketball to swimming, athletics. If there was a sport team, I wanted to be a part of it. Cullen was a New Zealand national hockey team member between the ages of 15 and 21. She was born and raised in Auckland before moving to the United Kingdom. She received a degree in health science from her home country, with concentration in physiotherapy. Cullen first started working as a senior physiotherapist for the English Institute of Sports in London and helped the British Olympic team in their conditioning. After spending some time with them, she moved to New Zealand and worked as a senior advisor at SPARC High Performance until 2010. She kept climbing the ladder of success in the years after 2010 and in 2016 found herself working with one of the biggest names in Formula One, Lewis Hamilton. The seven-time Formula One world champion and his physiotherapist are inseparable on Grand Prix weekends, almost always together when Hamilton is not in the car. Like many performance coaches working in the sport, she's part of the Hinsta Performance Company, which was founded by fitness guru, the late Dr. Aki Hintza. Angela joined Hintza in 2015 and was appointed to Hamilton's team the following year. The 48 years old physiotherapist also developed a close relationship with Hamilton's former manager, Mark Hines, who stepped down as chief executive of the Drivers Project 44 management company in 2021 to pursue other business opportunities. During Hamilton's most recent title winning season in 2020, the trio were often inseparable, but since Hines' exit, Cullen has been seen as Hamilton's closest ally in the sport. So, what does a race weekend look like for Angela? On most days, she drives Lewis and Lewis's bodyguard Lloyd to the track and drop the pair off at the gate and then park the car. They sometimes like to make flash entrances on sporty bikes, which is pretty awesome. Before a practice session, Angela preps all of his gear, like a race helmet, suit, balaclava, gloves and shoes, and then she heads to the garage to await his arrival. Angela oversees that entry into the car and then stands ready to call him on hot days and get him anything he needs. After qualification, Angela meets Lewis in Park Fermi, if he's in the top three, or at the Mercedes garage or the back of the FIA garage if he's not. And finally, on race day, after he's strapped into the car and headed out on track, Angela heads to the grid and awaits his arrival. There, she swaps his balaclava and helmet for a cap before heading back to the Mercedes garage with Lewis for a pre-race toilet stop. Then, after Lewis is safely strapped into the car, Angela heads back to the garage, where she watches the race at all times. Angela monitors the chat between Lewis and the pit wall, so she's ready for anything he might need when he comes in for a pit stop. In addition, Angela is always there to lend Lewis her emotional support. She helps Lewis to maintain the healthiest mental state possible with her assistance. Therefore, it should come as no surprise that the Briton, in the year 2020, referred to her as one of the finest things that have occurred to him. Hamilton once said, Angela and I are naturally incredibly close. We pretty much live together. She had done a bit of work on me back home, so I spoke to her and asked her, would you like to come on the road with me? And little did I know that we would have the greatest partnership. Their bond also exists outside the realm of Formula One, where they both work. During breaks in between races, she keeps Hamilton in proper shape by making him perform activities like swimming and cycling. Angela has been observed on multiple occasions, engaging in various activities with Lewis in their spare time. These instances have occurred during a number of events. For instance, after the COVID-19 pandemic caused the 2020 Australian Grand Prix to be postponed, Lewis lingered in Australia and went mountaineering with Angela. After the 2021 Monaco Grand Prix, Lewis, Angela, Toto Wolff and a few other friends were seen having a good time aboard Sir Philip Green's yacht in St. Jean Cap Ferrat 
located in the French region of saint jean cap ferrat This was one of the other times that the two were seen hanging out together. Louis and Angela have memorialized their unique friendship by attaining identical tattoos that say loyalty on the inside of their wrists. Louis has won four world championships with Angela. Cullen knows that becoming successful in Formula 1 is extremely difficult, but she enjoys the sport's difficulty anyway. So by now, you must be thinking, how much does Hamilton pay his physiotherapist? Hamilton is one of the richest drivers in Formula 1, not just due to his lucrative Mercedes contract, but also because of the numerous endorsements and sponsorships. His confidant, Cullen herself, has made quite a fortune for herself by working hard alongside Hamilton. According to multiple sources, she has a net worth of around $15 million. Hamilton pays her a salary of $113,079. Her importance behind Hamilton's success in F1 has not been downplayed by the racer. In an interview, he repeatedly emphasized just how vital she's been in driving him to glory in his career. Lewis once stated, She's focused, selfless, and she makes my weekends peaceful. Every day I wake up, whatever time it is, she's just positive. Never a single day has she been negative, so that's very, very important. Importance of Cullen can be estimated from the fact that the F1 driver even allowed her to sit in the race car back in 2021. Yeah, you heard that right. Sitting in an F1 car is a dream for many people, even for people who work in F1. The cockpit and the seat are specifically designed and customized for the drivers, so it's not a surprise that Angela Cullen seemed like she was one of the happiest people in the world when Lewis invited her to sit in his car. In an Instagram post, Cullen wrote, she explained her feelings in the caption. So when your boss says you can sit in his car, you're not going to say no, right? Absolutely one of the coolest things I've ever done. She really is an extremely lucky woman. In another instance of how close the two are, the Mercedes driver pushed Angela Cullen into a river recently. This happened after Cullen promised to take the plunge if he landed a podium spot at the Canadian GP. Cullen helped Lewis defy back problems that left him doubtful to even start Sunday's race, let alone deliver a season's best third place. Mercedes posted a clip on social media quoting, Get in there, Ange. All this shows Lewis and Angela obviously share a close bond. It's natural that fans often wonder if there is more to their relationship than just a professional connection and friendship. However, there are no romantic links between the two. Although Angela is very private when it comes to her personal life, it is known that she is married and has two children and lives in the Alps region of France. Angela is married to Silas Cullen. While she's active on social media and even puts her kids' photos online, her husband is inactive and has never appeared on her social media handle. Silas likes to keep his life private without the public gaze. However, it is reported that, like his wife, he has a successful career in sports. He was a former cyclist and he's now a coaching director. More on her personal life. When traveling to races, Cullen often runs in her downtime. She calls this her meditation, but it also allows her to explore the cities and countries she visits. She also loves cycling and spent 2006 touring South America, starting at the southernmost tip of the world in Ushuaia and finishing at the top of Colombia. Cullen plans to continue her cycling tour one day, aiming to go all the way to Alaska and eventually cycle across the rest of the continents. Ever since Hamilton has put on words of praise for Cullen, she's received a lot of attention from the F1 community. During race week, several F1 fans post pictures of her and make tweets showing admiration. And if one watches F1 regularly, they can't deny that they've seen Cullen more than once on the TV. Her pacing through the entire F1 arena displays her dedication to her work. That alone has been enough to win Hamilton fans' hearts. Moreover, the last season of Netflix Drive to Survive, Cullen received a good amount of screen time, which enhanced her popularity even more. What do you think about Angela and the influence she has had on Lewis? Let us know in the comments.